Hello and welcome to this how-to video from Blue Prism University. During this video, you'll learn how to set and use the priority of a work queue item in Blue Prism. By the end of this video, you'll be able to explain the default order in which work queue items are processed. Understand how to use an item priority to change the order in which work queue items are processed. Explain how to set a work queue item priority using the internal business object add to queue action. Explain how to set a work queue item priority using the internal business object set priority action. View and filter items by their priority in the control room. When designing an automated solution, you should consider whether different work types or scenarios with the process should be worked before other items. For example, does work from a particular source have a shorter service level agreement than work from another source? Does work from one type of customer have a shorter SLA than items from another type of customer? Does the source of work come in an order other than oldest first? If you do need to control the order in which work queue items are worked, Blue Prism provides you with several options. You could have multiple work queues for the same work and work them in order of importance. You could use tagging for work with different SLAs using process logic to work items tagged with the highest priority first. Or you can use the inbuilt work queue priority functionality. During this video, we'll be looking at the built-in work queue priority functionality. For further information on using multiple work queues or work queue item tags, please visit the Blue Prism University. By default, the order in which items are selected by the Get Next Item action is first in, first out, or in other words, the same order in which they are added to the queue. However, that order can be changed by setting the priority parameter. The priority is an optional parameter within the add to queue action, and if left blank, the priority is assumed to be zero. The get next item action automatically selects items in order of lowest priority number first. So an item with a priority set to three will be selected before an item with a priority set to seven. Where items have the same priority, the first in, first out principle applies. An item priority can also be changed by using the set priority action in the internal business object work queues. Let's take a look at those internal business object actions in Blue Prism. Firstly, the item priority can be set when using the work queues add to queue action. The priority input parameter can be added here. Alternatively, use the work queues set priority action to set the priority of a work queue item. Remember that the lower the number, the higher the priority. The get next item action automatically selects the lowest number first. Now let's take a look at our session management in the control room. Here we can see the priority that has been assigned to each item. You can filter here if required. I'll just sort the list by created date so we can see the oldest items at the top, the ones first added to the queue. As I scroll down, you can see that although there were items that which were added to the queue later, they have been worked in order of the priority assigned. Now that I've completed all the items in the queue, if I sort by last updated, you can see that the work queue items were processed in the order of priority. 
It is important to ensure work queue items given a lower priority are eventually worked. If your process is configured to prioritise work in an order other than first in first out, there's a risk that lower priority work may never be completed. To circumvent that risk, Ensure that there are always enough digital workers assigned to the process to clear all work that day. Design a solution that uses more than one method of prioritising. Adding logic to your design that works lower priority items if they are over a configured age. Include SLA monitoring and alerting in your solution to ensure Blue Prism controllers are informed if work items are at a risk of missing their SLAs. Thank you for watching this video, during which we have explained the default order in which work queue items are processed, seen how to use an item priority to change the order in which work queue items are processed, shown how to set a work queue item priority using the internal business object add to queue action, shown how to set a work queue item priority using the internal business object set priority action, viewed and filtered items by their priority in the control room. If you want to know more about any of the Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Or visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions. Again, there's a link in the description below.